We see unabated uh, demand in most of our target applications. There is a bit of a weakness in consumer related stuff, but that's really doesn't matter so much for Infineon. And it's rather the contrary. Long term, there are more reasons why our structural growth drivers will drive our growth. If you think about energy outer key uh, realized by renewable energies, is really high on the agenda of all governments in the world these days. But China is slowing down. We've just, just seen uh, economic trade data over the weekend. So is that not a concern for your outlook or are you not that dependent on China? Of course, uh, macroeconomic uh, factors, uh, we watch very carefully inflation, interest rates, uh, uh, China, COVID situation. But again, our structural growth drivers uh, are pushing us forward. Uh, the short-term situation in China um, uh, related to COVID is, of course, more of a concern, but the momentum on, on the demand side is strong, and we see customers really eager to take more volume from us, and that's why we raised our guidance for the fiscal year. You're very much depending also on the car industry. So how is um, how can you cater to that strong demand? Because uh, many car makers do say that they could produce a lot more. Um, how's the situation at your end? That's uh, definitely what we hear as well. And uh, there's uh, strong uh, demand in that in that chain. If you think about US inventories, uh, car dealer inventories, they're still on the low side. And therefore, we see this momentum going further into the next quarters, um, especially in the car industry, but also, again, in, in markets like renewables, data centers, IoT, um, industrial. So, Infineon's growth is really broad-based.